I'm in a rut and I need to get out of it. Wow. Either I'm really pale or this lighting's horrendous. I've been in a bad rut for about three days now. Pretty much done nothing. I've not been able to sleep. I've been sat playing Sims in bed resting because my chronic fatigue's horrendous and I don't have the energy to do anything. But I'm feeling slightly better today. Listening to my body, so I've been resting, but I feel like shit. So I'm gonna get out of this rut. And the things I'm gonna do, one, I'm gonna do some light movement. I need to move my body. I need to ground myself. I need to just start feeling better and get back in touch with my body. Step one, movement. Step two, make myself look a bit more like me, AKA get out of my PJs. I've already put some makeup on, put some eyeliner on so that I feel a little bit, a little bit nicer. Step four, do something I actually like that doesn't involve playing Sims. <laughs> Sims is great, I love Sims, but I need to get my face away from a screen because the past like three days, have just been screens. I think my eyes are gonna like die if I look at one any longer. So I'm gonna print out some art and package some shop orders because that's productive and makes me happy. And then the fifth thing I'm gonna do, step five, getting myself out of the rut, is doing college work because I'm so behind. It's been a half term this week. It's Saturday now, so I've had a full week off of college and I've done no work. I've done some art, I've done quite a lot of sketching and painting, and I've done a little bit of music recording, but I've not touched my English, and that is my main subject that I have to study for. So we're gonna do some English. I'm determined to get out of this rut. If you have chronic illness, you know the feeling of just feeling like you can't do anything and feeling like shit. And I can relate to that a lot, especially at the minute. So I'm gonna break myself out of it and hopefully not tie myself out in the process. <laughs> Step one, yoga. I'm gonna stretch. I've put my gym stuff on, which I haven't worn for a while because if you follow my channel and you've watched all my videos, you will know I have a shoulder injury. Which I'm doing physio for at the minute. I need to do some physio. I have some movements from my physiotherapist that I need to get going on to help strengthen it. I can start doing like planks and downwards dogs and things like that again. So I can do light movement and I'm very, very, very happy about it. I'm gonna just do something light, make myself feel better and then we'll get going on doing some actual productive things. Sorry if you can hear screaming in the background. My siblings are having a nerf war. Welcome to life in the house of five people. <laughs> you never get peace and quiet. I just realised how weird of an angle that probably all is. I just filmed so many cinematic scenes and I wasn't recording, but now I've got a necklace on. <laughs> I really need to repaint my nails. Also, look how yellow my fingers are. My circulation, non-existent. Okay, feeling a little bit better now. Comfy, but still a little bit better than my pajamas. Feeling better. Also, isn't it weird having my hair down? When do we ever see me with my hair in a ponytail? Job number one is move that back. Oh my God, oh my God. Step two, get rid of my old candles because there's so many that are just mostly empty. That one smells really nice, but I don't know whether I can burn it any longer because it's covered in dust. Does anyone know if you can wash candles? Is that a stupid question? <laughs> Welcome to my little hippie section. I don't think YouTube have seen this section of my room. I call it my witchy corner. Look how cute these photos are. I've been playing Sims so much and my Sims got married and these are the selfies that they took. Look at the drunk selfies from the wedding. It's so cute. I freaking love Sims. I'm gonna make that my background. It's adorable. Leave a comment if you want me to make some Sims content because I would love to do that. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. And this was at their wedding. Look at her face. She's so smitten. Ah, oh, I crave a romance like my Sims, honestly. Even though I do need to get some work done, my first task I'm gonna do 
in being productive. I wanna do something fun that isn't too hard because I don't wanna wear myself out on the first task and get back into the rut. I'm gonna print some art because I don't really have to think about that, but it gets me into the mode of doing things. I printed this the other day, which is my, my little me character with a moon. And I printed it on photo paper so it's nice and glossy. I wanna hang this up on my wall. I also need to print some bookmarks because there's been quite a couple orders. Everyone wants to buy bookmarks. That seems to be my most popular item item in my shop so I'm gonna print some more of those and get those orders ready to ship out. The link to my shop will be in the description if you're interested. <laughs> I've now got international shipping on a couple products so if you're elsewhere you can also get something if you would like to. This is a digital piece I've done for my A-level portfolio and I really like it. It's probably one of my favourite pieces I've done yet. My bookmarks are done printing. These are all new designs that I'm gonna put up in my shop. I really like these. <sighs> Fold number two. Poetry is really difficult. I don't know how I'm gonna pass my poetry exam. Like, I get it in class, but when I have to do it by myself, I need the context. This makes no sense. If it doesn't work, try something else. I'm gonna have a go at redrafting some coursework because I need to do that. It has a deadline by next weekend. Do I have to redraft my novel? I wrote the start of a novel for coursework and I think I might have to redraft that. No, it's fine. I feel like if you sigh, you immediately associate your brain with negativity with it. Just go, yes, yay, I get to redraft my novel. I love writing, this should be a fun task. I don't know why, I'm in... Okay, cool. This should be a fun task. I've just got myself in the mind headspace that every single thing I have to do I see is a really big chore. I need to get my thrill for it back. Let's go. <sighs> I think I'm done. Oh, I need a full stop. I'm gonna have to check this over. I'm gonna get my mum to proofread it because this is a coursework essay. And then I think that should be okay. I did all my work. Not all of it, but I did a big chunk of it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Is that even like an actual phrase? I've hit 150k. Holy crap. Every single video I film, I've like hit a new milestone at the minute. Like, it is crazy. Next task is I need to check which video is scheduled for tomorrow, check that it's the right one, and check that it's the right time. Because my short the other day went up at midnight instead of at five. I literally speak in French for like five minutes of this YouTube video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it here. I've just had a phone call catching up with my grandma, which was nice. And I've updated my Goodreads. I'm gonna make a couple cards, I think, because I've got my brother's birthday coming up, my dad's birthday coming up, and Mother's Day. So I'm gonna try and get all three of those sorted, or at least one of them. And I'm going to also cut out all the things I printed before. And I've got a couple more things to print. <sighs> Very productive, little bit tiring. I've also got to send off some invoices and reply to some emails, so I'm gonna quickly have a productive 20 minutes and do all the admin things, and then we can get to doing some art. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna have time for. I'm gonna definitely cut up my bookmarks and my art to put on my wall, and I'm definitely gonna get these emails done, but we'll see if I get on to doing art. I'll either do art or just go on Sims. Chances are, I'll just play Sims. <laughs> I love Duolingo so much. It really helps because I'm trying to learn French. <laughs> I need to get rid of these. <sighs> I feel like my bed looks so much better when both the green things are on. Hello. And hello. <laughs> mm. 
I've just cut a couple bookmarks out and now I'm going to cut the rest and my little owl piece. I really, really like this. And they've all turned out really nicely and vibrant because I've used my good photo paper. The only problem is my guillotine is sometimes a little bit choppy. I might have to invest in a better one one day. These are my new cat bookmarks. I really, really love these. And these are some other ones. We've got some landscapes and then some Studio Ghibli designs that I made on Procreate. I really like this little Gigi one. It reminds me of like coffee. These are all the bookmarks that are now up in my shop. I love these so much. This is so cool. Just wanted to add a little outro to this video. It's the next day now. I did in fact get myself mostly out of the rut, drag myself out of the little depression episode. I do feel a lot better. <coughs> Playing Sims, doing a couple more <laughs> little printing jobs and things like that. And then I watched Harry Potter with my family. It was a very enjoyable, nice, restful evening after what ended up to be quite a productive day. I hope you enjoyed watching. <coughs> I hope it's relatable. Oh, while I'm ticking, that reminds me. I don't tick very much when, when I'm like sad, depressed, struggling. My ticks kind of go away. Not completely, I obviously still have Tourette's. <laughs> They're definitely a lot calmer, so because I'm more upbeat, because I'm doing a little bit better, <laughs> the ticks are back. <laughs> That's generally how it works, so that is why I'm ticking now and not in the rest of the video. Ticks wax and wane, they change all the time but they're still there. <laughs> One video with a few less ticks does not mean they're not there. I definitely did have ticks yesterday, but not in the little snippets where I was recording. I probably only ticked a couple times and when I'm editing, I'll edit that out because it'll most likely be in between sentences. There's no point leaving it in. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. There'll be another video next Sunday and a couple a couple little shorts through the week so subscribe there's a lot of content coming and i hope you have a lovely day bye